I got some good nighttime miles in before the sun comes up and makes this place really hot. It was even cold enough to wear my puffy. I always wondered how long the dotted lines were in the middle of the road. And I have my feet at the bottom of this one and it's longer than me. By like a lot, maybe twice as tall as me. It may be too early to say this, but I think I made the right decision taking the highway shortcut. Obviously, the isolated desert is beautiful and wonderful, but I think also these like lonely highway roads cutting through the middle of the desert have their own kind of beauty, and I'm really glad that I get to see it. On the second inspection, the sagebrush I leaned my pack up against is crawling with ants. Maybe I move. Eating a meal in the shade is definitely something I took for granted on the rest of trail. I am in the middle of a 35 mile dry stretch. Um, it would be the same on either the trail or the roadwalk. Uh, and I'm remembering the first couple weeks on trail when there was so much water that it was actually a nuisance. And I am remembering it fondly, just like I thought I would. But that reminds me to appreciate how bone dry my feet are. I have no, no wet socks, no wet shoes. It's great. And when I say no water, there is some water but a lot of it is going to be too alkaline to drink or really muddy or cloudy and some water caches that are awesome if you find them but you can't be relied on because they might be gone. I've been lucky so far. That bull over there is definitely guarding this cloudy little stream. I wouldn't have wanted to drink from it anyway, but he was not happy as I passed by. But I'm happy to say that he let me pass uncharged. It's sort of vaguely overcast. It's not that hot, which is great. Walking the road like this offers more opportunities for meeting people that I don't get to see when I'm tucked away in the mountains. Um, there's a bike group that's doing Canada to Mexico, so I chatted with some of them for a bit. Maybe there'll be more people. I don't always have to walk the pavement if I don't want to. There's usually something on the side that works. Found a nice shady culvert. This might be one of the best uh, snack break spots that I can get in the desert. Although the flies are really bad, so I had to cover up my legs. Also, my skin is not doing well. I have a new sunscreen and my skin does not like it. Clouds really moved in while I was taking my snack break. It wasn't that long either. I think that I have figured out where my strained calf muscle came from the other day. It was in Lander five days ago and I was going to tent camp for free at the city park, but I finished all my errands and it was really dark and the park was still a mile and a half away and I had a full pack with complete resupply very, very heavy, and so I walked very fast on concrete or asphalt. And on the way, I got catcalled four times, and so I walked even faster, and then I got to the park, and it was dark, and there were cars circling, and I didn't feel an outright danger, but I didn't feel safe enough to sleep there. So I turned around, and I walked the 1.5 back into town, also very, very fast with my heavy pack. And to be honest, it was a bit of a low point, but I bought myself an ice cream, I bought myself a hotel, and I felt a lot better, except for my calf the next day, or day after that. 
So my theory is that during that very brisk walk, my body was sending me signals that my joints were not happy with what I was doing, but I was too preoccupied to notice them. And this was on top of like already a 27 mile day coming into town where I'd been going pretty fast. So that just, that extra three miles, I think just put my body a little bit over the edge. I found another culvert, this time to shelter from the rain instead of the sun. And they're actually very comfortable. The rain has started to pick up a little bit and I'm keeping a careful eye on the entrance because given the overall concept of a culvert, I think it will be very comfortable in a storm until suddenly it's not. I was thinking about living out the rest of my life as a culvert goblin, but it's time to go into the sun. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to say that this water is available, but not exceptionally appealing. Oh my gosh, is this, is this a cash? I'm so thirsty. Still a long way to go. There's relatively blue sky in the west, and then something, and then thunder in the east. I guess I better back it down to 2.5 miles an hour. Water at last. And it's clear.